So a bit of a funny one, this one, guys. Well, I purposely stood right back because this car takes you around in a right cycle because you stand back here and you think, oh, oh, Granada, three litre, nice blue, which it is, there she is. And then, um, yeah, you get a bit closer and you have a look and unfortunately you see some of the micro blistering in the paint i wanted to no no big rot i'll come around to it again in a minute um but yes it's obviously been in a fairly dampish environment um and it's just starting to blister up a little bit micro blister here in there so then your heart sinks a little bit and then you think well no hang on a minute it, you know it is you know it is an early granada all said and done and the you know they're just not around are they um so then you start coming back round, and then you go inside like i did opened all the doors i look inside and thought oh hang on then you start going back to your first thoughts um you think oh hang on look at that door shuts are good door cards are lovely carpets are good seats are perfect yeah dash is lovely nice inside you then jump inside and see forty thousand miles and you think do you know what? It could be. But we all know that they were the easiest car in the world to uh, to clock. Uh, apparently you could clock them on the way home on the motorway. You didn't even have to stop. But, so mileage I'm not so sure. But then you continue on and you see the dash. No cracks. Glove box working. Correct period radio. Nice centre console. I tell you what else is nice. Original key, which does the ignition, the door, and the boot lid. Oop, if I can see. There you go. So then you start thinking that if that same key actually did the centre console on these, I can't remember. I'm sorry, the glove box. Oh, it did. They are even the, even the glove box. So you got the original key there. Look, that does everything. That gets you thinking as well, doesn't it? Because that's unusual. <laughs> so, and then you look at the minor wear next to nowhere on the car in general, and you think could be right that. So you go in a great big circle, you go from being, oh, look how fantastic, so, but you come back round, I'm sure when you come to see this car, you'll come back round to the, that could be a car that, that wants a bit of work, I know, what's a little bit of TLC, but that's got the makings of a proper car. Then I pop the bonnet, and that sort of confirmed it for me as well, because, look, nice, look at those brake pipes. Properly done, all nice. Look, fuse box with a lid on, all nice. Inner wing everywhere there, all the brackets for bits and pieces, nice. Look, your VIN number there, still in a bit of primer there on the inner wing. Wiring loom, that's not, that doesn't, to me, oh, that doesn't look like it's ever, ever been off. That's never been off. And that's, that's the general trait around the car. So you start looking around the car and you've got, you've still got all the correct clips in all the correct places. You've still got the plastic on the little bend overs there. Like I say, the pipes are all right. That all screams correct to me. Um, you might think otherwise, and please come down and tell me where I'm wrong, but that screams genuine underneath there that interior is to die for it really is inside out in in there dash seats <laughs> you are not going to get a better interior i don't think that interior has been messed around with it's been out and then back in and all the rest of it. it it certainly doesn't give you that impression it just it gives you the impression of being a bloody honest car i tell you I mean, look at these door cards and shuts. Vinyl roof shrunk a little bit down there. Yeah, granted. I haven't opened the sunroof, to be honest with you. I'm not going to bother. Um, it's not my car to, to start messing about like that. In the back. 
Michelin X tyre. I haven't actually had this off. I know this is loose. I pulled it back earlier on. Let's have a quick look at this and just let's just try and work out whether this has been refurbed or let me just see who that is on my other phone. Hang on a sec. Let's just ping that one over a minute. Hang on a sec. But she's got the correct Michelin X tire on it. Just pull that out. I don't know whether that's been on. I don't think that's been on, guys, you know. It's got one or two little marks around there, though, hasn't it? If it has been on, I'll tell you what, it ain't done much. Then you've got the jack and brace in the correct cradle with the anti-rattle. Mm, it's all adding up, isn't it? It's all adding up. But it certainly is to me. I'll leave that in there. It certainly is to me. I'm guessing possibly supplying dealer sticker. If not, it's a very early sticker, isn't it? Number plates. The old press steel job is there with plastic letters and the same on the front, which have obviously been on there forever, if not from day one. Same on the front there. Oh, it's ticking some boxes for me. It's it's all the all the bits and pieces are lining up for me, and that's the type of car I like to buy. Just a real nice, genuine car. So I think you're gonna have to come and have a look because I don't think you'd have to do it straight away, but it's obviously had a coat of paint at some point. To make it right, it wants a coat of paint, to be honest. But not this week. Something you can do later on. It's still very smart and presentable. I know you're gonna get the pickies and say, oh yeah, shame about the micro blister, isn't it? Shame about this, shame about that. But, boy, has this car got some potential? So there you are. So, 1995, last tax kiss. Paul's been handling it, but apparently he has been in store for, for a considerable amount of time. Um, yeah, it's a real tricky one, isn't it? I'll tell you what to do. It's what I do most mornings, or certainly two or three mornings a week. I have a watch a bit of Minder or a bit of Sweeney while I'm having a bit of breakfast and it gets you all excited and then you'll want one of these. So come down, have a look. If I'm about, we'll have a chat and, and we'll have a look together. I'll no doubt I'll learn some stuff from you guys, um, which I very much like to. Um, see what conclusion you come to. We'll go from there.